more popularly known as Bangalore in South India. Over the years, Bangalore has had many nicknames like Pensioner's Paradise, Garden City, Pub City and more recently the IT City or the Silicon Valley of India. Bangalore has become a very busy metropolis with huge crowds of people and heavy traffic. If you want to get away from the hustle and bustle, just hail an auto rickshaw, hop into it and tell the driver to take you to Fraser Town. Bangalore is made up of many different towns. Each town is a city in itself. I'm Naina and this is Fraser Town. Basically, there was this gentleman named Sir Stuart Fraser and he was the tutor to the Maharaja of Mysore. In appreciation for his great work, he was gifted this town in 1910. It's still a bit like living in the old Bangalore, which was a, it was a neighborhood lifestyle, you know. You knew the people on the road, the shopkeepers and their fathers and the barber and his son. As you walked on the road, you stopped and people looked over their gates and said hello and so on. This was considered uh, sort of the, the poor man's part of town. Uh, but as things have developed uh, over the years, suddenly this has become the best part of town. Tourists enjoy this area because there are a lot of uh, restaurants which are open till 11 o'clock depending on each one's palate. One of the bakeries that I remember from childhood is still there. Albert Bakery was uh, very much around when I was a kid and uh, still continues to be so. They sell the most delicious muffins and cookies and pastries. Of course, like, it was since the British time and so like uh, my grandfather, he named it as Albert. So they named it Albert and it's been continued till now. One of the things about Bangalore is you can buy fresh hot chips. I'm at Arunachala in Fraser Town where they make the chips right in front of you. They grate the potatoes into a big hot pan which they call a tava and they fry the potatoes and you get a bag full of them. They have different kinds like potato chips and jackfruits and banana chips. We are Shanti Sagar in Fraser Town. It's typically is called a stand and eat restaurant. It's a Indian fast food. The food is so fast that you, you stand and eat it and there's a big demand for the tables. You just turn your back for a minute and someone's taken your place. The food is South Indian masala, dosas, puri palya, idlis, vadas. Uh, they're actually very convenient. If you want to get a quick bite in the morning on your way to college, so it's very convenient and very tasty. I'm of Mangalorean Indian descent. Mangalorean cuisine is different from other regional Indian food. It has a lot of coconut and there are quite a few seafood dishes. One of the best places to get this kind of food is here at Mangalore Pearl in Fraser Town. I was determined to start a restaurant in catering only to concentrate on a, a specific delicacy that is Mangalorean we are experts in and also provide uh, these items at a very reasonable price. The other thing is trees. Splendid avenues like Mosque Road for instance and uh, big, big old trees which are about 80-90 years old because even though things have changed, the trees are still there and I find them really beautiful. And I write a lot, that's why I like Fraser Town because I can get into these really romantic moods and just walk out somewhere and then come up with something and write it down. Uh, you know, you always pick up when people say I'm from Fraser Town. If I was to get married and go out, my first choice would be Fraser Town. A lot of variety you find.